flat colors are great. But if you want your illustrations to look more professional, adding highlights and shadow is key. Welcome to day 13 of learning digital art. In this video, I'll show you a simple and pro level techniques to add depth and make your artwork stand out. So let's get started. Step 1. Preparing your illustrations. First, ensure your illustration is complete with base colors. Step 2. Choosing a light source. Before adding shadows, decide where the light is coming from. Imagine a sun or lamp in this scene to guide the placement of highlights and shadows. A top left light source is commonly used in illustration. So we will follow that. But feel free to experiment. Step 3. Creating shadows. Now let's add shadows. Use the pen tool to draw the shadow where it should be. Select both the shadow and the base object. Then use the shape builder tool to remove extra parts. Make the shadow a slightly darker shade of the base color. An easier way is to use a darker color and set the multiply blending mold in transparency panel. Don't use pure black. Use a darker shade of the base color for the more natural look. When we choose a light source from the top left, shadows naturally fall on the right side of the artwork. This means we should place shadows accordingly to maintain consistency. Even small shadows like those on the ears, nose and eyelid should not be skipped. Many people overlook shadows and highlight in the hair, but adding them enhances depth. Shadows typically fall on the back and lower section of the hair. Without shadows, any part of an illustration can look flat and lifeless. Shadows mimic how light interacts with objects in the real world. Even in stylized art, they add depth and believability to a scene. For example, a character face looks more natural when light and shadow define its contours. Use soft shadows for realism, especially in portraits and organic shapes. We will apply shadows step by step using the same technique. Proper use of shadows and highlights enhances video hierarchy, guiding the viewer's focus. Right? For example, a shadowed background helps a bright colored subject stand out, right? And if you want your illustrations to look more professional, you need to know how to add shadows and highlights correctly. Shadows and highlights give an artwork a high quality finished look. If you are a bit unsure about drawing shadows, always observe real world lighting and use reference photos for accuracy. We will cover every part of the illustration including hand, the upper body and the lower area one by one. Adding shadows isn't just a technical skill, it's an artistic choice that can completely transform an illustration. Whether you are aiming for the realistic, dramatic or the stylized look, shadows enhance storytelling, depth and professionalism in your work. In this tutorial, you will see that shadows are not just for decoration. They make illustrations look more real, interesting and professional. They add depth to the artwork and make it stand out. When we add shadows, we can feel how they change the mood of the artwork. If we place them well, they show a good understanding of light and shape, making the illustration look more natural. Shadows help define form and separate elements. In flat artwork, everything can look like a single shape or just two simple planes, top and bottom. A single color may create a basic box, but adding shadows reveals individual parts like hands, neck, and chest. Shadows differentiate each element clearly, making your illustration more dynamic. Mastering shadow techniques will instantly elevate your artwork. 
When I first started adding shadows to my artwork, I had no idea what to draw. I didn't know how much shadows to apply or what shapes to use. Then I began taking inspiration from real pictures. If you are a beginner, you might face the same problem. So don't worry, follow me step by step. Use references from other artists' work or real world objects and keep practicing. With time, you will master shadows too. Next, we will add a shadow to the bottom area. You can use black only but on dark surfaces. It's best to reduce the opacity for more natural look. If you create flat illustrations, always check your artwork with and without shadows. Does it look natural? Shadows don't just add a realism. They help create a mood, depth and a better story in your art. Make sure your shadows are not too dark or darker than the highlights. If they look too harsh, try adjusting the opacity, blur or color so they blend smoothly with the rest of the illustration. Shadows are your secret weapon. You can make your artwork look more professional and interesting. In Adobe Illustrator, always use the multiply blending mode to create a realistic see-through shadows that blend well with your colors. Our shadow part is done. The next step is adding highlights. Just like shadows, highlights should follow your light source. Since our light is coming from the top left, we will add highlights to the left side of the illustration. We will start from the top, adding highlight to the hair first. Then we will move to the upper clothing and hands followed by the lower parts. For highlights, choose a lighter version of your base color. You can use the opacity slider to soften the effect for the smooth and natural look. When adding highlights, always remember that they should be less prominent than shadows. Supple highlights can make a big difference. Avoid overdoing them. Highlights are the brightest area in an illustration where light directly hit the surface. They enhance depth, making objects appear more three-dimensional and visually appealing. The simple steps is Select the pen tool and draw a shape where the light is hitting. Fill it with the lighter shade of your base color. Adjust the opacity to make it look natural. Use the shape builder tool to trim any excess highlights for clean edges. Some pro tips are too many highlights can make your images look artificial. So keep it balanced. Always decide on one light direction for consistent highlights. Experiment with hard and soft highlights based on your illustration style. Instead of pure white, use slightly tinted highlights to maintain color harmony. Why are highlights important? Highlights help separate objects from the background, making them stand out. Mimic real wall lighting for a more natural look. Enhance material feel. Different highlights create different texture. I see common mistakes in highlights people do. First mistake, they use too many highlights. It overcrowds the image, making it look cluttered. So keep highlights supple and apply them only where light naturally hits. Mistake number two, ignoring the light source direction makes the illustration look flat. So you need to do is define a single light source and place highlights accordingly. Mistake number three, harsh and unblended highlights. It creates an unfinished look. So you need to do use opacity adjustments, weathering and gradients for smoother blending. I'm not using uh, gradients in this artwork, 
बट यू कैन यूज ग्रेडियन फॉर मोर सबल लुक द फाइनल स्टेप इज रिफाइनिंग नाउ दैट वी हैव आर हाईलाइट एंड शेडोज लेट्स पॉलिश द डिटेल्स कंप्लीट एनी मिसिंग पार्ट्स एंड एड पैटर्न टू एनहेंस द ओवरऑल लुक एंड दैट्स इट विथ जस्ट अ फ्यू सिंपल टेक्निक्स योर फ्लैट इलेस्ट्रेशन नाउ हैड डेथ कॉन्ट्रास्ट एंड अ प्रोफेशनल टच did this tutorial helps let me know in the comments and don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell icon for more awesome illustrator tips